Hello Internet, Andrew Huang here again for LPX Studios. Welcome to another episode of How To. Here's a few tips that you could use in order to save battery life on your Samsung Gear S. So number one, make sure that your, your mobile network usage is on auto on and off. So it's not always on the 4G connection, which always uses uh, extra power there. Another tip two, so make sure that your screen brightness is on auto. Um, if you're mostly in a night in a nighttime setting, you can go ahead and lower that lower that screen lower that screen brightness, but that will definitely help. Another thing too is I always leave mine on vibrate, and I use a low intensity. Sorry that keeps going back and forth there, folks, but always make sure because when you're when it's using sound notifications, you're gonna be using a lot of power, especially if you get a lot of notifications. Have it on vibrate; it's gonna use less power, um, in my opinion. Um, Actually, from real world use, that's what I've experienced. I've also set the vibration on a medium setting because low seemed to be a little too low for me. High was too intense, but medium was just right. Uh, but that consumes less power from what from what my use. Um, another thing too is to make sure you close um, close programs you aren't using anymore. Um, so the Gear S is just like uh, pretty much any other mobile device out there where it has programs running in the background. In order to bring up the application uh, the task manager per se use two fingers on the screen press and hold you feel a little buzz and your uh, program manager will come up so you can go ahead and close them one by one as you see i have milk running right now which is consuming power in the background so i'm going to go ahead and close that you can close all the programs you aren't using for me i'll just hit close all now there's no more programs in the background using up unneeded ram so those are my three tips for you guys in order to save power on your Gear S. Hopefully that helped out. Uh, one thing to mention too, for those of you who do not know, once again, the Samsung Gear S charge base is actually an extended battery as well too. There is a battery built in within this thing. So when it charges, uh, you can kind of use this in a way to extend your battery life. Let's say you're in an emergency, you can carry this around to charge your battery. Uh, from my experience, it only charges about 20 to 30 percent extra, but hey, that's better than nothing, especially for an emergency charger. Uh, this also acts as the USB dock, so you can go ahead and transfer files between uh, the gear, the Gear S, and the PC. And uh, one quick question I received on the charge base: you can keep it plugged in at all times. Um, it's no different than what you had on the Gear 2, Gear Neo, Gear Live, and so on. Um, this, it's pointless to have to constantly plug this in and out if you don't need to. So you can go ahead and keep this plugged in and just take the Gear S on and off as you need be. Thanks for watching my video. If you have additional questions on more Gear S functions or Samsung Gear devices, go ahead and click that playlist right next here. If you have additional questions or just want to know more about other reviews and unboxings I've done, hit that next playlist button down there. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button down below to support my channel. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, both positive and negative, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions. Thanks for stopping by and see you in the next video.